What are some of the challenges that agents would face if they're trying to adapt the laws of confluence to their current life? What are some of the challenges that they might run into? One of the challenges, change offers challenge for in every aspect, whether it's change for the good or change for the bad. Change always has obstacles. And so some of those obstacles might be, um, I actually can't think of a lot of obstacles that when people come together because there's a natural flow. The obstacles would occur when you're trying not to be, to collaborate and you're trying not to do that because you see collaborate, you would see collaboration as an obstacle to begin with if you don't like people. If you don't like people, you're probably not in real estate. Um, but if you don't like people, then collaborating is uncomfortable. It, it makes it to where you you feel like you're being melded with somebody that you don't know. But as so that would be an obstacle if if you are not used to to collaborating. However, in a real estate transaction, you have to talk to the other realtors. You have to talk to your buyer or you have to talk to your seller, depending on which side of the transaction you're on. And um, in Confluence, what I see is a knowledge base where you learn how to not just effectively communicate with your buyer or your seller, but also with the other parties in the transaction, bringing in vendors, bringing in title companies. When you bring in all the parties of it, it's important that everybody has that open line of communication and that's part of collaborating and that's part of confluent. Something that, that I have seen with, with the agents out there that are kind of flying by the seat of their pants and don't understand the concept of collaboration. Or they, confluence. Or confluence. Um, they tend to feel alone. They don't, they they like I said they may um, burst out with a bunch of energy and close a couple of deals, but then in the end they they are not fulfilled. And when you are collaborating with your part with partners, and you're collaborating with other people in the same industry, you tend to get a little bit more fulfill fulfillment in life and in your career. And that's um, I know quite a few realtors here in this area and in other areas that are lone wolves. And if you're a lone wolf, then the idea of collaboration is a little scary, but it is still necessary to create the, the confluence of success. Makes sense. So you talked about change a minute ago and uh, you know, it's inevitable. And so would you say, or I should ask rather, what role would adaptability play in the law of confluence then. I can't control that other body of water, I would imagine, that's coming towards me. And if we're talking about two bodies of water harmoniously um, merging together with the fact that I, can, I can't control, there's some change that could happen. And so how, um, how does adaptability play a role, if any, or what are your thoughts on that? Well, in, in business, regardless of the type of business that you're in, there always has to be some adaptability. Um, markets change, technology changes, people change. So when you are looking at the adapting to the confluence idea and the, the change that's involved with that, it, it is a, a little tough to stop just relying on yourself. And so through the um, confluence idea and or the confluence idea and the collaboration, learning how to communicate is, is going to be a change. It's going to be a challenge. And so when you are in that mindset of confluence and there's somebody over here that is often left field all by themselves, the idea of confluence is to meet them more than halfway if they need to because they may be rushing at you but they're not intending on meeting you so you have to to reach up to meet them and then they will understand that 
collaborating and confluence really does work better when you're trying to succeed.